Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel XGenon Protein X. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about how to represent and how to make the analysis of the fax histogram data. So, if you have more than two groups and then how to compare the histogram data by this way, as you see in this uh, the data I presented here in the PowerPoint presentation. So, how to make this kind of um, data arrangement in the Flojo. So, let's begin. So I have some data, but from here I can take around uh, three data. So first I need to drag this data to the Flojo window. So now you can double click and then we'll get uh, this kind of pop-up window. So first you can see the SSC and FSC. So I want to and to make the getting from here so first this is very basic i already talked in my previous video in detail but here i just want to show something so this is not my main focus so i okay so i can make this kind of data okay so let's assume that 30 33 uh, 33 percent around so now here you can double click and then you will get the uh, this uh, the only the cells only the live cells so i want to analyze this data so here you can do the right click and then copy analysis to group then you'll get all of the data the similar getting system so now i can delete this one i don't need that one so only i need this data so now you can change it from here you can change it to histogram and here you can change it to the FITC and here smooth you can change the color as well so now you have this data this histogram data so for this is the first first group there is the sample C so you can see that here also you, you have similar kind of data histogram and FITC change the color okay and then another sample histogram and here if it is as well so smooth okay so now i have three data set uh, just uh, I want to show that uh, how to make this kind of analysis although here you can see that uh, these are the negative cells but uh, I just want to show that how to do this kind of analysis alright so now we have three data set so now what you can do you have here you can see the layout editor so you have to click that one now you can see that uh, this is the window and you have to make the analysis in this window so here what you can do you can just uh, you can drag from here or you can just copy from here you can see that uh, copy uh, to layout editor okay so this is you can see here it already appeared here so this is the sample b 
next is the sample C okay so you can see that uh, these two data here so I don't need this data anymore and then sample another sample I need that is the sample A this is also you can do the similar way so this so now you have this three data set so you need to compare right so you just uh, overlap this three data set by dragging this uh, one by one and then you can see make it full screen so now you can see it automatically it can take up this kind of uh, if you drag and if you overlap this one data set to the another data set then you can see that uh, this will appear so now you can change as well you can if you want to represent this data you can copy from here copy with selection without transparency or you can explore from here and also you can change the representation so what you can do you just right click from here and then you can see this one uh, sorry yeah now you can see here so you can see now the histogram so if you click the offset then you can see its change so this is the another kind of the representation if you want to uh, if you want to present uh, this data you can also copy from here a uh, copy selection and then uh, export and also you can change it if you want this kind of data set histogram and uh, this stagger offset so now you can see that is change right so this is the different kind of the uh, representation so this is all about uh, uh, this uh, uh, comparison how to do the uh, this histogram data analysis and also another the last option that is the uh, overlaid that is the first one that i showed so there are four options and four different kind of the representation you can do so that's all about uh, this histogram data analysis so i hope this video will be helpful if you like this video kindly hit the like button share it and please and please subscribe my channel and if you have any queries kindly write in the comment section thanks for watching